One of the main roadblocks for effective drug therapy is the specific delivery to target tissues. There are multiple barriers in the human body that impede specific drug targeting. This leads to the following issues. Inability to deliver sufficient concentrations, unspecific delivery, and undesirable systemic side effects. Many advanced drug delivery systems have been developed to mitigate this challenge, and one of them is liposomes, which are a form of small unilamellar vesicles containing a phospholipid bilayer. Liposomes are usually the size of viral particles, around 100 nanometers in diameter. When drugs are loaded inside liposomes, the lipid bilayer isolates them from the harsh environment of the human body, protecting the drugs and minimizing off-target effects. Standard liposomes effectively accumulate in the liver after intravenous delivery. However, within the liver, standard liposomes do not target hepatocytes, the main type of liver cell, but are predominantly captured by Kapuffer cells, a resident macrophage in the liver. This leads to a large dose loss, decreasing drug delivery to the target cells or tissue. To take advantage of this intrinsic targeting effect, these standard liposomes are further developed to target antifungal drugs to Kapuffer cells for treating advanced fungal infections. Two products are approved by the FDA, Abelset and Ambisome. However, most liver diseases that are associated with hepatocytes cannot be tackled with standard liposomes, such as liver stage malaria, hepatitis C, and fatty liver diseases. Dr. Lee's lab has developed a new formulation of SUVs that target hepatocytes. This formulation is called a phospholipid-free small unilamellar vesicle, or PFSUV for short. The formulation contains 83 mole percent of cholesterol and 17 mole percent of tween 80, an FDA-approved surfactant, but without any phospholipids. The average size of this PFSUV is around 50 to 60 nanometers. In blood circulation, PFSUVs adsorb apolipoprotein A2 and are able to escape the blood vessel through small windows also known as fenestras. They then bind to hepatocytes through a scavenger receptor B1 that recognizes the apolipoprotein A2. PFSUVs are manufactured using a staggered herringbone micromixer, which mediates an ultra-fast mixing process to promote cholesterol and tween 80 self-assembly into nanoparticles. The process is complete in many seconds, and with this device, an exceptionally high cholesterol content can be incorporated into PFSUVs. This high cholesterol concentration is important as high concentrations of cholesterol have the following benefits. Improved stability and improved drug loading and retention. This is due to the fact that higher concentrations of cholesterol increase the rigidity and stability of the membrane formed. Drugs can be loaded into the PFSUVs by using a transmembrane gradient forming drug aggregates inside the core. PFSUVs and standard liposomes show different tissue distribution after intravenous injection. Standard liposomes accumulate in the liver and spleen, while PFSUVs predominantly target the liver. Within the liver, the red fluorescent drug, which is delivered by the standard liposomes, is exclusively captured by Kapuffer cells, and only a very little amount of this red drug is detected within the hepatocytes. On the other hand, PFSUVs target the red fluorescent drug to the hepatocytes. To show a potential clinical application of this unique drug delivery system, we test the utility of PFSUVs for protecting the liver against Tylenol overdose. Acute liver damage in mice was induced by a high dose of Tylenol. One hour later, CPZ, a liver protecting drug, was formulated in different formulations and delivered to the mice. Liver biopsies from different groups are compared, showing that CPZ delivered by PFSUVs effectively protected the liver from damage.